What's something shitty you see Reddit people do? Give terrible life slash relationship advice. I saw this recently. Op was asking a question about why their roommates thought they were kinda rude in their speech, but still hung out with them regularly and expressed liking them as a friend. Responder in the comments, no one who really likes you would hold a wrong slash incorrect opinion about you. They're awful people and you should cut ties what? Loneliness of live through for a long time can make you misunderstand facial expressions and dialogue from others. Basically when people are being friendly you assume they are trying to trick you or take advantage of you. You take a genuine smile to be a cheeky, shit-eating grin, etc. I'm no psychologist and I don't know what actually happened. But it's at least better than parroting you should dump him or just communicate. I went back and checked the thread and I guess Opt has multiple different friend groups who game with them and regularly spend time together, but have all said dude you're kind of rude at one point or another. It's likely some sort of tone or mannerism in Opt themselves rather than that many people being nice in every way except this one. Try to win rather than have a conversation. I think this may be more like a human problem than a reddit problem. No you're wrong. No he he isn't. I will win this, no matter what slash s. State opinion as facts. And they even get supported by other editors. You're wrong according to my opinion. That's a fact. I support this. In my opinion I don't. Because he is clearly wrong. Shame people randomly. I think your avatar is cute. I think you're cute. I think the way you use your is cute. I think all of you are cute. I think using the emoticon is cute. Argue with me about absolutely nothing. Then get into name calling. Very mature. I recently got a bunch of redditors absolutely livid for calling a kid a toddler instead of a baby. Like. That was it. Like 10 neckbuds ganged up on me. Downvoted me to hell. Cussed me out. Insulted me. For thinking a tall baby could be a toddler. I did a post about how all dogs are puppies. Even if they're old. Trying to show how all dogs would act young if they could and never really grow up. Man oh man. Something as dumb as that created a firestorm leading me to being banned from that subreddit. That's so dumb I know it's true. You gotta remember what demographic makes up a lot of these trolls on reddit. They're fucking lunatic shut-ins haha. <laughs> Change the definitions of words to their own liking. A big one I see is what gaslighting means. People think just being rude is gaslighting and totally miss the actual meaning. The gaslight gaslighting. You think I use the term gaslighting wrong? Don't you think you're being a little illogical? I mean that's just crazy. Oh no. Pawning someone else's content as their own. Pawning someone else's content comment as their own. I wrote this. You wrote this. I wrote this. Guys. Guys. I actually wrote this. No you stole this from me. Encouraging literal strangers to break ties with their families and partners over just 5 paragraphs. Human relationships are very complex and often cannot be distilled down to easily digestible tropes like commenters and hater and relationships want. Cutting people off has consequences that commenters don't have to deal with they just say cut them off and then go on with their life. Even worse still is when they jump to conclusions and make assumptions about people in the story just to fit their own narratives. Assuming someone is abusive or manipulative, or is trying to hurt you, even when there's no information, to suggest that in the post it just gets on my nerves so much. Yeah these responses always shock me. Human beings are imperfect, and not every mistake constitutes abuse, and going no contact. Human beings are imperfect it always bothers me when people in advice subs say person x knew what they were doing slash knew they were hurting you in the absence of any evidence that's true. People mess up. Maybe they really didn't mean to cause harm, or they regret it. A bunch of internet spectators who only know one side of the story can't make that call. 95% of the time. There's such lack of empathy overall, and a tendency to assume the worst in people. Hide behind an anonymous facade, to be cruel to other humans. The greater internet fuckwood theory, normal person plus anonymity plus audience equals total fuckwood. HTTPS slash slash www penny arcade com slash comic slash 2004 slash 03 slash 19 greater internet fuckwood theory thank you for this gift i see what you did there if mind 
Looking at you r slash hater. Hater for burning down a restaurant because they got my order wrong. NTA. They got your order wrong. They deserved it. Itter. You fucking burnt down a restaurant. That's an asshole thing to do. Gets downvoted into oblivion. The weird thing where, as soon as it's revealed, or even hinted at, that the poster is female. Suddenly an army of pencil pricks send forward a barrage of unimpressive pics of their members. Oh and for some reason a few always send an obviously fake pic of some pornster's cock. Oh. I was in a thread about work shoes, and mentioned that I replaced mine every 6 months, because my feet are disgusting. I got no less than 6 pms of men asking to see my feet. But not your champagne pants? Because I'm particularly curious now. Are they pants made out of champagne? Are they the pants you drink champagne in? Are they stained because of a champagne mishap? We must know. They're pants I drink champagne in. They're very soft. I need to get me a pair of champagne pants. I think we all need a pair of champagne pants. <laughs> Meme the crap out of something that it becomes ruined. Specifically ruining games or shows. Among us. <laughs> Say this. That. It's like this, and like that, and like this, and oh it's like that, and like this, and like that and oh it's like this and who gives a ref k about those, so just chill. Till the next episode. Take commonly agreed on facts, and then twist the meaning or reality of them to push their own separate narrative across multiple posts and threads it's especially frustrating when you see people doing it to promote ideas you believe in because, even if it is for a good idea, or cause the misinformation eventually gets called out and takes away from the thing that actually matters. Get personal. Answering. Your mom is the exception. Your mom. But have you considered your mom? Not recently. I have. Twice since Tuesday. Claiming everything is fake. I see it constantly people posting r slash and on posts that are easily plausible. The always fun trolls trying to argue once a post or comment gets a lot of attention. Their lives are so uninteresting that they can't fathom anything of note happening in real life. They're just so intensely scared of falling for a trick. Act like experts on things they know nothing about. They love to talk about how Karen's Facebook blog is a bad source. Which it is. But then they proceed to get information from some guy's Reddit comment instead. Please don't get advice on how to build your child's immune system from Reddit comments speculating on how it could be done by playing in the garbage. Talk to a professional. Forming mobs and having knee-jerk reactions. There was a video post not too long ago where someone stole $20 from an old lady. Yes. That was awful. And the thief was incredibly shitty. But the comments were flooded with violent ways in which the old lady should have killed her. It was irrational. Assumptions and generalizations. I'm far left by USA standards. But the way some users act on here towards Republicans is just dumb. Not every Republican is an anti-vax. Pro-life. Canon following whatever. Celebrity worship. It's awful when it's some popular musician. Or whatever. But if it's Keno. Bill Gates. Or Ellen from two years ago. It's alright. Are you trying to tell me my degree in Netflixology doesn't trump a PhD? How dare you. Slash s. Next thing you know they will claim my theoretical degree in physics is useless. Theoretical degree in physics welcome aboard. Assuming every shitty behavior someone has is a mental illness and using that as an excuse for said shitty behavior and why the shitty person should be absolved of their shitty behavior. It also fucks people with actual mental health issues over. If a diagnosis gets turned into an insult, you'll be sure as shit people will eventually stop seeking help for it. I'm not a Trump fan so don't take this the wrong way, but making absolutely everything a Trump joke. It's such low hanging fruit and honestly I don't want to be reminded of it every 10 seconds. I didn't vote for the guy. Just leave me alone. Likewise. Everything on r slash world news almost immediately comes back to Trump. Like holy hell guys. There's other forces at work in the world. And I thought that that's the point of the sub. Popular is a nightmare. It's full of the screenshots of a reply to a Trump tweet from multiple subs. The list of subreddits that I miss is so long too. r slash facipum is gone. r slash insanepia plafasabook. r slash confidential line correct. And so much more are just r slash mucking republicans. 
hell I like mocking republicans, but I see the same posts in different subs. There is an assumption that we are all American. There is also an assumption that English is our first language. Please don't tell me my problem is the republicans. Go easy with grandma mistakes. Don't forget the assumption that everyone is a guy, unless specifically stated otherwise. This isn't a reddit thing or an explicit problem that chuds try to enforce. It's just an assumption a lot of people implicitly make. If they think about it for more than 5 seconds, they know it's wrong. I often get downvoted for asking honest questions because people assume I'm. You know what? I actually don't even know what they assume, that I'm being subtle in my antagonism. That I'm trying to pick a fight with friendly words. That I'm intentionally obfuscating my true intentions, I don't even know. Honestly, I find that any question at all related to religion, race, or sexuality is almost invariable met with a catastrophic wave of down votes. Which means I rarely get any answers to my actual questions other than you're a racist slash sexist slash bigot for even asking also. If you get more than minus 5 on your downvoted then you can expect everyone else to pile on regardless of whether what you've posted deserves it or not. I've always found minus 5 to be the magic number of all hope is lost of a civil discussion number it's pretty frustrating. Yeah I've found myself in the same situation. Being a curious person. I figured out that it's because you're not immediately assimilating into the hive mind. If you're asking questions it means you're not there to blindly hop into the circle jerk. Make political jokes on non-political posts when they don't even make sense. And when you point it out you'll get downvoted because everything is politics. Yeah they make a joke about American politics and when you go, let's not bring that in this sub they go oh you must be a Trump supporter or something similar like dude, just because I wanna see memes only on this meme subreddit doesn't mean you can guess my political affiliations, especially as I'm European in the Balkans. But, but, everyone online simply must be American. I think removing any voices that don't fit the tribe's whole narrative. Enough down votes. And your comment is hidden. Or mods just ban you. Mods are some of the shittiest redditors of them all.